Lufthansa is without a doubt the most featured airline in the Hyperwings portfolio, so it should be a clear case of getting it right every single time. And yet, Hapa Lufthansa models are hit and miss in recent years. So what do we have here in front of us? A hit or a miss? We'll find out thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop. Do check them out. The link is in the video description below. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review Where We Today will take a closer look at an Airbus A321neo of Lufthansa. At the front of the box, we have a lovely image of the aircraft in real life. We have the Lufthansa branding and also notice here the registration code that is important for later. The registration code we also find on the back side of the box and we do also once more find the image of the aircraft in real life. All this box design is of course delivered by Lufthansa to have a wing so they don't do any work. And the proof that they don't do any work here is the fact that it is the wrong registration code. Something they could have noticed and fixed, but they didn't. And here she is, the Airbus A321neo in the Lufthansa livery with the addition of the 600th Airbus sticker. Now, as mentioned, Lufthansa is by far the most featured airline by Hapa Wings, and yet they still manage to regularly mess up those models. So how have they done with this aircraft model? Is it at least halfway worth the money that Hapa wants for it? We'll find out by taking a closer look at it, starting off with the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Lufthansa branding. On the fuselage, we then have the correct registration code of the aircraft, unlike on the box. We then also have the German flag and the flag of the European Union. And towards the very tail of the aircraft, we do find a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. Now, if we move to the front of the aircraft, we can, of course, see a very prominent across the fuselage, the 600th Airbus aircraft logo which then also has the Lufthansa branding. Behind that, we also have the aircraft type specification and the name of the aircraft, which is named after the German city Münster. We, of course, also have the little yellow square next to the front cabin door. We have the Star Alliance logo, of which Lufthansa is a founding member. And underneath the cockpit windows, we do find the Lufthansa logo once more, as well as some static ports. So quite a bit of detailing here, looking quite lovely overall, if you ask me. The cockpit section itself then comprises of the cockpit windows with the typical black neo mask around them and the window wipers that have been printed on. From there we can then move on to the engine nacelles which have been kept in all white just as most of the fuselage but we do have the silver leading edge as well as some safety markings printed on so that's actually quite lovely. The physical detailing of the engines is as always really nice with Hapa wings especially here from the front very very nicely you can see the engine fan blades. On top of the fuselage, we then find a set dome, and what can I say? It is placed correctly, it does look nice, but compared to the aircraft in real life, it is massively oversized. What isn't oversized but just right are the emergency exits, which have been printed on here on the fuselage just above the wings, which leads us to the wings itself, which we should definitely also take a closer look at, starting over the top side, where we can see the different flaps, slats and spoilers carved out quite nicely. We have the markings for the emergency exits printed on as well, but notice some spotting here on top of the fuselage. I couldn't quite get rid of it for the recording, so hmm, not so great. The underside, however, looks very nice with more nice physical detailing. And then, of course, the A321neo also has has these winglets with the lovely Lufthansa logo printed on. But with Hapa Wings, as with all A320 Neo aircraft, you do need to check the winglets for the angle. Sometimes they are quite a bit off. In this case, I think Hapa has done overall a pretty solid job with both of them. The landing gear is the standard landing gear that Hapa uses for all the A320 family aircraft models. So same old story, a nice looking main landing gear, but the front landing gear being massively oversized and of course missing printed details. On the belly of the aircraft we then find a hole in the fuselage for a stand which is not included with this aircraft model, but at least it doesn't destroy any printed details in this case. And then finally, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A321neo of Lufthansa with the 600th Airbus aircraft sticker from Happy Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? On first glimpse, it might just look like any other Happy Wings model, but there are actually some positives to be mentioned here. The first thing to mention is a big one, and that is the fact that Happy Wings has managed to get the correct white tone on the aircraft model. Sounds strange, but Happy has struggled quite a bit in the past getting a 
clear white tone on Lufthansa aircraft models. So in white tone, that does not have some weird color tint in the white. Here we have a nice clean white on the aircraft model looks great. The next thing to mention is the 600 Airbus aircraft sticker. The 600 writing is spot on. The metallic gray looks awesome. From some angles, it kind of starts fading, but it does it like in real life. So it, it looks really good. HAPA has recreated this perfectly in my opinion. And finally, and I guess that's also a big one is that at least on this aircraft model, I think the cockpit section looks kind of like an Airbus, so not quite as dodgy as usually with HAPA wings. So I think that's worth mentioning. Of course, the model does still have the usual HAPA silliness. So the massively oversized front ending gear, a way too big sat dome or a hole in a fuselage for a standard is not included with the aircraft model. But overall, I think this is a pretty solid scale 500 model from HAPA wings. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. If you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? And with that, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.